Hello again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm here with Scribble Knots Unlimited, the object editor commentaries where I create your favorite characters here in this game, which is called Scribble Knots Unlimited. The object editor is only a feature on the Wii U and PC versions of the game. We're starting off with a boy as the source object. We don't intend it to be a human boy by any means, but it's for today's creation, which is from Undertale, and we're going to be creating Monster Kid, which is epic. And so starting off now, after we took off the head and all that, the arms, the limbs, uh, we've now got a golden egg in place over the body and we're gonna paint this completely a bleach white color so go with the whitest of white that you can if you want to do it by my design and then after that we'll go ahead and then uh, put on the legs so I'm gonna type in Jenny green teeth we'll grab that back leg from Jenny green teeth it will have the little joint dot you know scribble knots a lot of the characters do have kind of a black dot usually it's on the front limbs you know if it's the arm or the leg it'll have that dot where it connects to the body or where it connects to whatever piece it's connected to basically but this Ginny Green Teeth back leg even has the dot on it, so if you do mind that, we will see kind of a different design after this when we make the color overworld sprite version. But anyway, we've got uh, now a headband, and the headband we're going to take three times, black, and uh, just I painted it basically all night black, just pitch black. And that headband will be for three times the stripes, uh, so it'll be stripes all over this golden egg shirt, basically, of Monster Kid. And so now we've got this trapezoid shape. Of course, if you're playing in Scribblenauts Unmasked, you're going to need to type in Trapezoid. And if you're in Scribblenauts Unlimited, you can just go kind of to the geometry library over there on the left side and uh, grab it from there. And here we're going to type in Dunce Cap, and that'll basically be the tail of Monster Kid there. And so we're putting it attached to the body. Make sure that, you know, if you turn on the green grids, you can kind of see where the head and the arms and the legs all move. Well, we're just attaching that to the body grid. And so here we're already at the properties editor and the scripting stuff, and so here I like to read background information and fun facts about whatever we're creating in this series. So of course this is Monster Kid, who is a young little monster who stops at nothing to see its idol, Undyne, in action. Monster Kid is a yellow reptile-like monster with no arms, a tail, spikes on the back of its head, and markings underneath its eyes, presumed to be black eyes. Phrases like, come on, dude, and especially yo, are commonplace within the Monster Kid's vocabulary. Dude, you got the best barrels ever, dude. And you guys voted in pretty massive droves, I'd say, to see this character get made in Scribble Knots. Very cool stuff. I thank you for your interactions. And you can probably see on screen that we've started off with glue as the source object. We're going to be making its head now. Uh, we don't intend for it to be glue, obviously. That's just a kind of a good shape that is almost oval, but almost squarish or head shaped, I guess, for the monster kid. And so it's going to work out good with this golem taking that shoulder piece in the back. Back shoulder piece of the golem is going to be the main white part of monster kid's eyes. Type in an octopus after that and we grab this tentacle piece that's in the back. It's an upper tentacle close to the body and it's to our right side, basically. And so we'll put that uh, all painted black underneath these golem eye pieces because that'll be the markings underneath monster kid's eyes. And a dory. Again, I said this in any other episode. We've used this probably, but it's not the boat and it's a fish of a dory, but it's not a blue tang or anything, so it's not like it's meant to be finding Nemo's dory or anything like that. But the dory fish is fin. We've used that to basically be nostrils here on Monster Kid. And so then I'll go with a minus sign. So after we've got that typed in, we're going to paint it all black, turn it vertical, upstanding, and we're going to make that be the Monster Kid pupils. So put it in there with the eyes. A yarmulke is what we typed in after that. And the yarmulke painted it all white. Basically, it does come out kind of white, but we just bleached over that with white to get any shading out of the way. And so with that, it's going to be for the teeth there in the front. And I think I'm going to go with a road hump. And the road hump, we can paint all the way black. And of course, this is the black and white, uh, I guess you could call it the in battle sprite, but it's the black and white sprite for Monster Kid. So that's why we're just giving it black and white colors right now. An eyebrow is what I'll type in after that, paint it all black. It's going to be the curve of the smile there, or the curve on both sides of the mouth. So of course, you're going to need two eyebrows for that. And this is all looking good, kind of uh, nearing the end here, but we need some important details, which are these spikes. And so I grabbed the triangle shape from the geometry library. Again, you're going to need to type in triangle if you're on Scribble Knots Unmasked, but we can put that there behind the head. Looks good. And so uh, this spike, I'm doing a little bit more wide and uh, it's we're kind of looking at it from an angle, basically, that we actually don't really see Monster Kid at in Undertale. We don't see a lot of the Undertale characters at this angle because usually it's just left, right, forward, up, 
I guess that's up or down, but you know, front facing or back facing. And so this is more like a diagonal of those, kind of between right facing and forward facing, I guess you could say. And so a dunce cap was the other spike like that. And so those are just, we're going to probably still need to adjust their position, I guess, once we put it on the head and see where they sort of line up with the monster kid's body being attached. And so I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but we've got a jellyfish. Grab the upper tentacle piece of that. It's kind of close to the body on the left side. It would be our left, of course, of the jellyfish. It's just basically a black line and we did that twice on the mouth for those teeth so over that yamaka shape that was the stamp we used and so then go to the equipment tab here in the properties editor and uh, make sure that this third circle down there on the bottom half of the screen is checked off that says can be worn on the face like glasses you're definitely going to want to do that if you ever create the head and the body separately in scribble knots unlimited and uh, the reason you would do that by the way is this game although called scribble knots unlimited it does have a stamp limitation so you are limited to how many pieces you can do. We can almost create Monster Kit as one full thing, but by this particular design, using the specific stamps that I did, it actually does require two pieces, basically a separate head and a body. And so as you see, we put the head object into the hands of the body object. When it's glue like that, you don't want to do attach. You want to actually give it. So don't press attach. Otherwise, it'll stick to it like glue. But you saw that the head was sort of in a weird position. You know, it's not exactly lined up how we want it to be. So we're going to go ahead and edit the body object of our monster kid. So with monster kid's body here, we can turn on these green grids. It's the top right button that has Maxwell's head and a banana and a wheel in the icon. Dotted lines around that. That turns on the green grid. You can see where the head one is, of course, where the head would be, all the way at the top. And for this, I guess for our purposes, I needed to move it up a little bit, and I guess perhaps one or two notches forward, which would be to our right in that direction. And so we can actually then just, of course, to create the color overworld version of this character, we can copy our black and white battle sprite version right here. And uh, we're going to make a few changes to stamps, but not too many. Of course, the main changes are going to be coloring it. So, of course, I want to get the monster kid skin color and clothes. So with that, you saw that I painted the trapezoid, the body, which was the golden egg, and uh, the dunce cap tail. And, you know, we may actually use a different tail just so I can show you some other stamps that you could use, but that'll be pending, I guess, for now. <laughs> and so I will definitely do some different legs, though, just to show you some other options. For one, you could use a dancer, the male dancer's back leg. I don't think that I'm going to go with that. We can actually show you it in comparison with what I probably will go with, which is a siren. So after typing that in, the siren monster, of course. I grab the back leg of that and we'll shrink it down to be a little bit thinner and smaller. But to me, this siren leg, I think it's just going to be a little bit more accurate, but if you want it to be maybe a little bit less detailed and more pixely for being the overworld sprite, that could be a reason to go with the male dancer, or if you just like the look of that better. But there we go. After kind of shrinking this and adjusting, that looks good. And so, of course, name it Monster Kid, and uh, we're going to try a fang maybe this time. And so attach the fang to the body. This might be a another stamp for the tail that we could use that I, I do actually like that now that it's in place. I think that that's a pretty good one if you want more of a curve in the tail. Again, it just kind of goes if you want to make it like less detailed and more pixely, sort of that art style of Undertale, or if you want to give it more of the battle sprite look that could be a little bit more detailed maybe. And so here we go with the head. Of course, that you can copy that same head that we used before. And uh, this time I used the letter I for the markings underneath the eyes right there, those black eyes, presumably, and the minus sign instead of the Yamaha for the teeth so we did get rid of those jellyfish line shapes that were over the teeth and so you can see here a comparison of the two pretty similar but those minor differences just kind of give you some other options and I obviously encourage you to while you're using these guides for all these episodes just make the characters how you want to take pieces of my design that you like and then make it your own but remember that I create whatever is most popular and most requested each week you can though have your creation automatically made if you go to my patreon page which is in the description and and annotated all throughout with the end cards or at the beginning of every video, so it's very easy to find, but patreon.com slash drkendo. If you get the final reward tier, your creation will be automatically created in a special Patreon create video, which we actually have coming up next week, so I hope you guys are excited for two episodes next week instead of the usual one, and I will catch you on the next vid, and thanks for viewing. Kendo and the mother flipping monster kid, I'm faster so you all know what this monster did, surprise that I carry so demonstrative, did Take the time to see just how this monster lives No arms needed for me to lay you out flat And no arms needed for you, so I'll take that If you thought you saw it bad in the comments section Then awaken <laughs> the monster and give me your midsection I got worlds of success, but people find a way To dump on a good thing, so it's time to pay I don't got no money, if you don't, then hand over your life You're gonna wish that you had thumbs up with a like, a like, a like. 
You do bad while well, I do good, nobody wants to. You brought the Kindle one, yes, sir, and I'm a monster.